Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with another client video, which is really, really exciting. For this client here, I actually decided to start with brows. Sometimes I'm just in that mood. So I'm grabbing the Precisely My Brow by Benefit in the shade 3 or 3.5, one of the two. Um, and I'm just really building her brow as you can see. And then setting that with the 24 hour brow setter. So look, to be honest, I used a lot of different eyeshadow palettes. The first color I'm grabbing is kind of like a yellow mustardy shade from the Anastasia subculture. And then I'm going to be going in with the Dior palette again, the Amber Neutrals and the Huda Mauve Obsessions as well. So I'm just going to be building that crease. To be honest, again, I didn't really have an idea of what I wanted to do. So I was just adding and dipping in and just going with the vibe. you can see it's getting a little bit more warm more red and then I'm going to define those outer corners with a neutral toned purpley brown shade and I always have another brush with me that I blend with now I'm adding more of a pink shade and sort of blending that into the crease and onto the lid as well so here I'm pressing the Marc Jacobs sequins eyeshadow it's in this shade topaz flash all over the lid um, it was the first time I've actually used this and oh my god it was so messy I wasn't really sure what the best way was to work with it so afterwards I actually wet my brush with some setting spray and laid a little bit over that um, so that there wasn't as much fallout but yeah it's still pretty good as you can see we're checking it out and then I'm just going to blend uh, more of those shades into the crease and kind of just feel you know what I'm going with here and it's really cool it's kind of like it's got like purple in it but it's kind of brown it's kind of mauvey really nice so now we're on to priming I'm using the banana bright primer from Ulla and then grabbing the Tarte Cosmetics face tape so I'm using the color that my client normally uses and it's one of their golden shades I'll put the exact shade down below and as I was applying it I'm not gonna lie I was like why does it look so warm like it looks really golden um but as it settled into the skin it was actually a perfect match which you will see so my client has really dry skin um so i really made sure that i was like working it in and buffing any excess away and this brush really really helps with that so this is a zoeva buffing brush So now I'm color correcting with shape tape in like, I think it was medium tan, so a really dark shade. And then I'm brightening with the Sephora Collection Concealer in number 26, which is like a really bright peach, super, super nice. Um, and I'm just using a little Sephora Collection brush to blend that out and then buffing it in with a Sigma brush. As I said in my last video, I'm really all about blending, even when it comes to the face. So you'll see me going back, using my finger, um, the warmth of, your fi warmth of your finger, don't underestimate that as a really great tool. And you can probably tell the foundation is now starting to look really, really nice. So taking that same concealer in the center of the face to bring light and brightness and um, kind of reverse contour her nose, which is already literally perfect. To bronze, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker in the shade Island Ting. And again, just big brush, taking it all over the face. I don't really um, contour as much anymore, um, but taking it everywhere. So this is actually the first bit of powder that really does touch her skin because she is more on the dry side, so we didn't really take a lot there. I'm using a... 228 brush by Zoeva to bring that warmth onto the sides of her nose and I also start to connect that into the eyeshadow a little bit later as well. 
So next I'm just going to add a little bit more depth to the outer edges of her brows where the arch sort of sits using a brow powder by Anastasia. For underneath, I'm using smaller brushes to basically replicate all of those matte shades um, and make it really smoky and sultry. And I like to keep all of our little laughing and talking and jokes as in here as much as possible because that's really what it's like when you come get your makeup done with me. It's just like a big chat um, and of course some glam. So here we used a Tarte eyeliner, um, it was actually Alison's idea, so it's a coppery metallic shade, so something a bit different and just to bring a lot more fun to the look. And I really liked how it turned out. So we popped the lashes on um, off camera and then Alison's just going in and clamping them together, basically while I fuss around and figure out what we're going to do next. And that's the good thing about doing another makeup artist's makeup. So now I grabbed the Benefit Cheek Leader palette um, and I'm using the shade Cookie on the inner corner. I also take it down the bridge of the nose. Yes, we're listening to Beyonce. Eh? Um, and I'm also just highlighting with that as well. It's such a nice shade. It's just so, so pretty. Now I'm taking the Chloe Malika Becker collection and I'm pretty much doing what we got taught not to do and I'm just putting highlight all over the skin because it's really sheer. Um, what it's going to do is just make her skin look like it's glowing from within and especially with a dry skin that's a great tip. And now using that Benefit palette again and popping some blush on. So next we are using the uh, what's the it's beauty blender yes beauty blender redo spray and I'm putting a lot on okay when I say she's dry she is dry 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 and then I'm even going to use the cover effects dewy setting spray as well so taking that highlight down to the body on the collarbones shoulders etc and I think we're now going to start lining those lips if I'm not mistaken but look how that skin is glowing like Stunning, right? For lips, I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Lip Liner in Spice. Basically, we really want it to look um, really kind of natural on the lip and keep the eyes as the main focus. So just lining um, pretty much where her lips already end and just kind of going to give it that definition as well because we just went with a gloss. So the gloss we're using, which you're going to see in a second, is the Pat McGrath Gloss and it is so, so nice. Um, it's called Faux Real. And also, I just love the Pat McGrath packaging. Like, absolutely stunning. So, yeah, it just looks like her lips, but better, right? Just a little bit of a gloss, a little bit of a pout, and we're pretty much done. So after I finished, I was like, hmm, okay, maybe we need a little bit of definition. So I'm adding the Marc Jacobs powder to kind of reverse contour. But again, this was the only other powder other than Fenty that I used on her skin. Um, and it just made it look a little bit neater and more, you know, kind of finished. So that is the final look. Um, what do you guys think? Tell me what your what you're wanting to see from me next, if you're liking these client videos, um, and I'll keep them up. And now you can just enjoy Alison's beautiful outro poses. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Bye.